my God is not the author of confusion. Why am I? I'm, every, I'm perfectly fine with me, with my purpose. It's when I get out of sight of me and I'm like, what the fuck is up with all this confusion? Mass confusion. I, and I got to confess that I don't know what to do outside of my me, myself and my purpose because I'm from California, from South Central LA, raised in the home of the Crips and the Bloods. And this dude, Charleston White, is trashing us. Yes, I say us. No, I'm not a gangbanger. He said he got beat with all gangbangers. I'm like, dude, when he said he came through California, saw a bunch of shit. I'm like, did anybody tell you about how many kids' lives were changed through the Snoop Youth Football League? I'm like, when I first heard of this Charleston White dude, I'm like, I know what he doing. It's psychological warfare. But what he don't understand is that the Crips and Bloods of South Central are what I believe to be victims of psychological warfare. You came out here, you out here admitting you working with the police and gonna get them locked up. The same cricket cop, do you know about the Rampart scandal, the reputation of the LAPD and why the councilman and everything, like it's politics out here that's different than what he may be used to. I'm a little older than him, but he's plugged into YouTube. And it, I respect where he from. I'm like, wait a minute, what you say gang banging is out here is not what it is, first of all. And dude, I respect where you're from and Mama Ann's cooking. Shout out Kwame Brown for putting his mama's cooking on everything. Cause I'm like, did you mention God? You supposed to come out here and love on us, man. You're supposed to ask more questions. You wasn't supposed to be on the side of the police when it comes to the Crips and the Bloods. The feds is trying to make the, it a federal offense to bang and you on their side. And, and then if they do something to you, there's not another Charleston White in place to help save them when they get to jail. <laughs> I'm like, come on, God, show this young man how he can be used. This man went on and attacked Mob James. Do you know I got love for Mob James? And I'm, I'm not a gangbanger. So I was instantly praying, I hope Mob James get with K-Dub and they reboot Death Row Records and reconcile. Because it's, it's a, is it a beef? Or is it psychological? They not getting it. They taking it as insults. And I don't know if his message is getting across. So it, called, it triggered my PTSD. Ah, remind me of when I was married. <laughs> Nobody's getting it. <laughs> oh, then I moved to guys like Kwame Brown, who calls everybody sir. I remember this young man. I'm like, oh, well, it looked like he get it, but he way down south. And nobody really said nothing about him except for the people that got a beef with him personally. So I don't fit in. I'm a nobody. And my favorite comedian is Corey Holcomb, and people don't like him. I had a chance to meet the man. He's a stand-up dude, a good brother, funny as hell, and one of the best at his craft. I don't want to be famous, but I was blessed to be in his presence. I look at guys like the, the pastor that I studied under. Nobody's listening to Chief Noble or his wife, but they talking about God, and it's what I lean on. When my, when my ex-wife left, took the kids, my heart was broken, and my contemplating in my own life, I leaned on God and the teachings of the pastor and looked at it as spiritual warfare. I was like, my wife has been deceived. In reference, I, I didn't want to do nothing to her physically. I wanted to talk to her, the people around her. I wanted to do something physically to them. But they were influenced by her. I was stuck. So I bettered myself, finished therapy, strengthened my prayer life, did my best to get the business and the finances in order, and moved on. I get into YouTube land and say, let me go ahead and start the YouTube channel and re reboot the ministry, because she the one threw it off. It was her mistakes, and in the spiritual realm, it was her fault. I love that I was able to bring out the worst and, and, and people's true feelings towards me, but I get online and try to get to the where the greats are and the ones who are try who are affecting things and uh, I find out they beefing up there. So I gotta stay true to what I believe and who I am. God first, prayer life first, but then when I get into the world, I love that Death Row Records is rebooting. I love that Rich and Ruthless is re rebooting. I love that the, the West Coast representatives from the 90s, the ones that survived, are still talented. Ice Cube is representing. Uh, 
everybody that I grew up watching him that came out of the fire, just like I came out of my own fire, but all of this division, I don't fit because like raised in the landed street soldiers, but then went and became American, an American soldier. I tried to infiltrate a system that was coming against my people, come back and tell them the information and they, I guess the metaphor of a prophet won't be received in his own, I was what I went through. The white people, the real people of God, the black women that love me, they still around, but they can't support publicly because of what they boyfriend, what they people might say. But I'm so damn grateful for what happened while I was following God in ministry. And now I want to share some of the blessings. And I'm like, you can't trust none of them. I watched social media just infiltrate my people like a fucking virus in my own life. It was a grown man in this Facebook thread that actually said, I just want to know why these bitches all want to have these niggas kids. I'm like, the women didn't tell you that they in love with me? The women didn't tell you how much I cater to their needs? Oh, none of the shit that happened, happened behind closed doors hit Facebook. Just the, the re, they, it's like people tried to pull me into a reality TV show and I'm like, well, y'all go look at what I said on that YouTube channel about that woman. I don't know what to say about that when women are wrong about me, other than bitch, you wrong. But what about the men? Divide and conquer much? My people suffer for lack of knowledge much. Judge not lest ye be judged much. My people have not because they ask not and when they do ask, they ask amiss much. I don't know what made that young man Charleston White come at my city and, and come at Mob James the way he did, but I hope that the mob, the mob Pyrus unite, get behind the people that are associated with Death Row Records. That's the somebody's vision put it on the map, so get it right. We lost a lot of lives behind it, and guys like me idolize those guys. I don't know what the young man from Houston is saying. I know that down south, I like what Kwame Brown is saying. Uh, in my own life, I got this New York nigga that's around my kids told, you ain't from Cali, nigga, fuck the... I'm like, what the fuck? Is pussy driving this? Is money driving this? I know I can't be bought or is swayed by a woman's opinion of what she thinks about me, especially one that I really love and ones that I really love. I can't be swayed by the very people I'm trying to help when they the ones talking shit. I got to look at them as misled. And then I look in YouTube land and say, there's really no place for a black man who was homeless through his 20s, grew up in South Central LA, volunteered to go to the National Guard, then volunteered for active duty orders, then went to volunteer for Iraq, then came back and went through homelessness, no help, family betrayed. There's no place for me. Everybody talking about get a bag, start a podcast, and I'm sitting, I'm sitting here really trying to figure out where can I put my time and talents now that I know the people who will take advantage of them and lie on me. And I'm like, is everybody taking advantage of everybody? Did that young man Charleston White have Mob James on for views so he could talk about himself or is he really trying to do good? Kwame Brown, I got a spirit of something. When he said his mama's cooking, I said, I'm eating. He got somebody in his life like my grandmama. He went through a bunch of shit and just let people talk about him and then he got tired. And amongst the internet, the, the real ones don't seem to get recognized. Dame Dash and Kenyatta Griggs. I felt like that should have blew up. black man is lost because he goes by the code of Jesus love your enemies this got a lot to do with it this got a lot to do with it loyalty over everything I, I have to be I have to show a lot of restraint I'm frustrated with my people and it, I'm afraid to come out and interact with them because it makes me want, some of them make me want to do, do them harm. It makes me not want to be a part of my, my people. The women I want to do for, let me go break them off a few hundred. Those ones talking shit. The men I want to invest in that love me back, they all doing their thing. 
So I got to get up to that level so I can be with them, a, 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 a worthy wife. And I have to have a support group that I know won't betray me. What do I do? What do I do? Other than when in Rome, do as the Romans. I'm very good at self-love. And I'm that might play that's the it's gonna get put to work with with songs like Alone. Yeah, it's gonna get put to work with songs like Alone. It's gonna get put to work with Who Do You Say I Am. It's gonna get put to work with a song that was written to a lady named Virginia Johnson, my ex-wife's grandmother, whose dead body I had to touch. We found her dead body. Still have dream, daydreams about it. Look up in reference to Psalms 40 and verse 12. So there's music coming, there's a movie coming, there's a soundtrack to movie coming there. It's gonna be releasing a huge box set. It takes time though. I had to go back to school and work on getting a film degree to even learn how to do it. But the people and the person I want to bless, it makes me cry at night because they don't deserve it. I know how they really feel about me. I know what they say behind my back, especially the woman, because she comes with a pyramid of people, an umbrella of thousands and thousands of like-minded people. I don't know what to say about my own mother, father, and sister who betrayed me for the women I had kids with. I don't know what to say about parental alienation when it goes down in the black community. I don't know why these women leave on the county wear t-shirts that say zaddy choose less than men rather than pick up the fucking phone and have a conversation just because they look, look stupid because their lies will be exposed so I say to myself I got a chihuahua and I found my peace and God delivered me so what you want me to add to YouTube the fact that the, the, the main supporters are white people 25, 26 subscribers they sit there or they may watch or not watch or they turn off the notifications and don't want to see it or do you want me to i don't know if i want to go viral because i went viral on fourth of july for a picture i took with a sign and i did not like it and i didn't get paid off of it so i've been delivered but it looks like people are lost but i also openly speak about my belief in jesus the christ my lord and savior and my must receive the faith Mustard seeds. Keep a reminder, these people are the ones who printed up clean clothing for me. Divinely inspired, spiritually motivated. My clothing line that some of you may have even donated or bought clothes. So, I don't know what to say other than I'm happy but sad for my people. They, if my life is any indication, they lie, they wrong. And that's involved. That involves self accountability. So when I go to my city now, I think beef. I think they don't fucking get it. These motherfuckers don't know who I am. And I can't be nice to them. I can't give them anything. And I refuse to speak well about them. I lived with them, prayed for them. I know their lies. Their lies are in my fucking phone. What y'all. What y'all want me to say about shit like this? Calling me in the middle of the night for while I'm asleep. Talking about pick up the phone. I came to see you. Yeah, that's why I called your mama, nigga, because she her son was about to die. I been where the fuck you been, bitch, nigga? No, use the bitch over there living off my kids. Fuck, nigga. Look at his name. Be angry and sin not. Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. But the restraint that it took 
And I did roll over. I, I, all I can do is make myself available to a fuck nigga from New York that think just because he drowning in some pussy and some bitch then told him some shit that he won't get his throat slit. But he won't. Because I ain't going to do nothing. Physically. But oh, how I prayed and bound everything that he does. And oh, how my mama and said, son, don't worry. I'm up here now. They gets nothing. So the Lord prepares a table in the midst of my enemies. And yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. I ain't moving until some very specific people say it's okay. Chief Apostle Alfredo Noble, Dr. Gene Noble, Kato, Kato from Death Row Records. Uh, let's hope and pray for him and for the Lord for the hood to reconcile with Ma James. Uh, Gali Wadu, uh, he wrote the book Blood because his coach Sonny, Sonny Weatherby, any of the battle buddies that I served with in basic combat training all the way uh, from my recruiter on up. Uh, I, I can't trust what I see, especially when I look at YouTube. I like a couple of people, but it saddens me. And this combat veteran, this black man, this father, I'm tired of dealing with the mental health issues of my people. I'm tired of having the scars and the stains of another of a woman's tears on my chest, because that's where she was laying when she laid when she was crying. Just like Marvin Gaye said, what's going on, people? I don't want no part of it though until people are really coming clean about their own shit and who they are and how they fucked up everything that they said they wanted God to do for them. It's very simple for me. I found the answers, I found the culprits, I got names, pictures of who's responsible. But those people will not hold themselves accountable. And the kids are getting fucked up. Kids are getting misled. Men are having beef over, over bullshit. And the people responsible will not hold themselves accountable. So, it's a sad state. But I'm blessed throughout it all. In the eye of the storm. Came out looking like new money in my life. And God answered every third prayer. So, let's hope people are really praying. And really about God. Instead of just going for views. Because I know God is going to provide my increase. To those of you who support me, let me cash out. Shout the sign. Uh, Frazier 13 Bravo. And uh, uh, for those who want to see it inside of the business, the black owned business, the veteran owned business, you can cash out. Dollar sign, King Clothing LLC. Uh, get your merch at shop.spreadshirt.com. Backslash, forward slash, king clothing, forward slash, all. And outside of that, I hope y'all are really prayed up because the last 10 years I've seen nothing but betrayal. In my life, it's prevalent. I just got social media to prove it in my memories and I just laugh at it. I know these people don't want people to believe they honor me. If you're in South Central LA and you didn't support that fucking ministry, do you believe what that woman said when she went back? Oh my God. But anyway. I hope it ain't what I, I hope people are really thinking about looking back, looking in that mirror and saying, I fucked up everything. Let me start projecting what I fucked up so I can start getting what God has for me. If not, my God is not the author of confusion. Stop confusing me.